Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Norman Perello, and I've been woodworking for over 20 years. In the forthcoming series of videos, I'll share with you the processes and techniques I use to design and build my own furniture. My work has been published in books and magazines over the years, including Fine Woodworking Magazine and Woodwork Magazine, as well as smaller publications, as you can see here. As well, I've been profiled and have my work published in a series of books that you can see here. A little bit about my background. I began woodworking as a hobby and slowly uh, migrated to box making, and I can explain why. My original woodworking shop was uh, very small, and uh, because of this, I was severely constrained by the size of uh, woodworking objects I could create. So box making was ideal. Uh, through box making, I, um, I perfected my joinery skills and my finishing techniques, and I slowly began to market my, uh, my boxes, which consisted of jewelry boxes and cigar humidors. I was fairly successful over a period of time in marketing these, uh, these boxes, and I was selling them internationally through my e-commerce site at the time, which was White Mountain Design. But eventually, after a number of years, I began to tire of box making, and my original dream was to make furniture. So I slowly began to study towards furniture making, and uh, in doing so, I, I followed a cabinet making program at a local college. I was successful in completing the program, and this opened my eyes to furniture making. At the same time, I began to read up on uh, James Cranoff's style of uh, philosophy of work, and this is one of the uh, this is one of the books which was instrumental in my uh, decision to uh, to slow down my woodworking, slow down the pace of my woodworking, and use more hand tools more so than power tools. It was a quieter form of woodworking, less dust generated, and uh, more peaceful. And I would focus on uh, grain orientation and the, the quality of the wood used and the graphics of the wood used as opposed to using simply using wood as a medium to create the final object. So, so at the same time, my small uh, furniture making school was uh, open in the area and this school was, uh, was based on the agenda and curriculum of the College of the Redwoods, which coincidentally was developed by James Krenov. So I began to investigate the school and uh, look at the uh, curriculum they off offered and the courses and classes they offered, and eventually followed a series of uh, classes and completed them successfully. In doing so, this opened my eyes to a new, quieter form of woodworking with greater attention to detail, wood graphics, and grain orientation. And I began to follow the James Cranoff furniture making philosophy in the process. So I slowly modified my woodworking to perform tasks using hand tools instead of power tools and I began designing my own furniture using sketches, drawings, and mock-ups. I thoroughly enjoyed the design process, and I began to show my work at design fairs. The positive feedback I acquired at the time was critical to moving forward with my furniture designs. So recently I've uh, written and published two woodworking-related books. The first book is the uh, From High Tech to Low Tech, which chronicles my journey from, uh, from my former high-tech career into woodworking as I'm doing it full time now as a furniture maker. And the second book is How to Start Your Own Woodworking Business, which follows my 20 year period of uh, creating and developing furniture making and woodworking related businesses. Uh, for example, White Mountain Design, Refined Edge Design, Wood Skills, and uh, most recently, Perolo Design. Today I design and build furniture using both power tools and hand tools. Power tools are used to prepare the wood, whereas hand planes, shooting boards, Chisels and scrapers are used in the latter stages of my furniture making. I've also developed uh, two woodworking courses uh, over the years. The first course was a woodworking course which is targeted towards novice through intermediate woodworkers and has been updated a couple of times over the years. So it's fairly comprehensive and a good course to begin woodworking to learn the fundamentals. And this is a more recent course on starting your own woodworking business. They're both available on uh, on the DVD and downloadable online through my website. As well, most recently, I've also developed and designed and created a series of uh, hand tools. This is uh, an example. This is a uh, measuring gauge, a small beading tool, a depth gauge, and a, another beading tool on a different wood maple. As well, I have a traditional uh, square. I'm fairly proud of these tools and they've only been available for a few months. So by subscribing to my woodworking channel, you will become part of my furniture design build journey and learn new techniques and processes for you to use in your own furniture making. So thank you for watching.